car dealer's latest little dirty secret, the electronic filing fee. Today, this little dirty secret we're talking about was actually first outed by a car dealer whistleblower of sorts, believe it or not. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We took the liberty of updating a few things in the report and added in some extra details for clarification. In the many years we've been broadcasting the homework guy on YouTube, we've run across some exceptional dealers. Among the all-stars happens to be none other than Earl Stewart Toyota of Lake Park, Florida. Earl Stewart, a Toyota car dealer in Lake Park, Florida, also hosts a YouTube show called Earl on Cars. I recommend you see it. Yeah, he's a great example of what's possible for dealers to accomplish in today's automobile industry. Such a great guy. Earl writes that during a Florida legislative election, Senator Joe Negrin led an effort to roll back about $12 of the cost of registering a car in the state of Florida. $12 doesn't seem like much, but he said this would save Floridians about $230 million a year. A nice little sum. Wow. It was supposed to bring back the tag registration cost to where it was about seven years ago when the legislature raised it because of the bad economy. He was thankfully successful in his efforts. What Senator Joe Negrin and apparently the rest of Florida legislator either didn't know or care about is that at about the same time, car dealers began pressing forward with marking up an expense to car buyers. They were calling the electronic filing fee. You've probably heard about this in your area too. This additional fee increased their profits far more than the $230 million a year that the reduced tag registration fees would have saved consumers. A lot more, and you'll see that in a moment. When we do the math on the number of car sales that happen in Florida each year, ranked number three nationwide in sales, we see we're up against a pile of cash with this e-filing fee. This profitable fee to car dealers is generally called the electronic filing fee, but it's also the e-filing fee or tag agency fee, but there are other names that dealers use as well. The creativity that dealers use for other fees is amazing, like the infamous dealer fee, <laughs> which can also be called dealer services fee or dealer prep fee. This is a widespread problem across the country, almost like the pandemic. It has infected most dealers in most cities. It's a problem we aim to fix with our hassle-free new car buyers platform. Years ago, car dealers used to process the tag and registration required on new and used vehicles themselves without complaint. There was no fee for that. Interestingly, about 14 years ago, many dealers began outsourcing this effort to data processing companies that could do the work far cheaper than dealers could do it themselves with a staffer. The typical cost of this outside service was only $10 to $12 per vehicle. That pales in comparison to the often several hundred dollars dealers charge for a dock fee. So the car dealer sees the opportunity to reduce their expense by using this data processing company. But do you think they would pass that savings on to the consumer? No oh, way. Oh, no way. In fact, they did quite the opposite, actually significantly increasing the expense to you, the car buyer. To give you an idea how bad this is, while it just costs a car dealer 10 to 12 bucks per vehicle to process your documents, Florida car dealers are often charging electronic filing fees marked up to 598 bucks. That's a 5,975% markup. On top of that, they hit buyers with a $995 document fee too. When we do the math on that, using the 1,190,963 million cars sold in Florida each year, Florida car buyers are getting socked for $713,989,874 just in e-filing fees with an average document fee of $995 to boot. That's another $1,185,008,185 for a mind-blowing total of $1,898,998,059. And that's just document-related fees. I'm just blown away. At Earl's dealership in 2009, he began using a registration service company called Title Tech, and they charged him $10 to prepare the tag, registration, and title work for each new customer. This saved his dealership considerable time and money from doing it themselves. He admits at the time he wrongly passed this expense along to his customers for a short time until he discovered this mistake, which he immediately corrected. He set out on a mission to refund this extra charge to all of his customers that his dealership overcharged. Can you imagine getting a refund check on a fee overcharged from a dealer? Unheard of character, right? In right. The in the past, he had always absorbed the higher expense of having a staffer. Earl says it was adding insult to injury to mark up this cost and pass it along to buyers. What an amazing statement by a car dealer. 
The word fee is almost always used by dealers when they are trying to disguise additional profit or to pass along an expense to you, which is the same thing as additional hidden profit. When car buyers are lucky enough to even notice the electronic filing fee, they usually wrongly assume it's a tax or fee charged by the state, federal, or local governments. It sounds official. They assume the same thing with the dealer fee under its various other names like documentary fee. None of these fees are from the state government. Interestingly, Florida law considers the electronic filing fee to be the same as a document fee, and we've been saying that for a long time, and requires that it be disclosed and used by car dealers as such. The language Florida requires for disclosure is, this charge represents cost and profit to the dealer for items such as inspecting, cleaning, and adjusting vehicles and preparing documents related to the sale. The law also requires that the electronic filing fee be included in all advertised prices, but unfortunately, as is often the case with these state laws, most dealers are ignoring this law just as they do with the additional profit they make with the document or dealer fee. Earl reports that dealers almost never include their document fees, dealer fees, or electronic filing fees in their advertised price, which is a flagrant violation of Florida state law. If they even mention that they have a dealer fee, they will say in the fine print something like, prices plus tax tag and fees. A few dealers will disclose in the fine print, plus tax tag and $999.95 dealer fee. The Florida Senate says the law requires that the fee be included rather than specifically delineated in the advertised price. But most car dealers advertising is done on TV and the fine print disclosure is literally unreadable or flashes across the screen so fast that nobody can see it. The other loophole that was permitted by Florida law is to allow the dealers to offer only one car with the dealer fee included in the price. Can you imagine how stupid that is? But that would not be so bad if the dealer clearly communicated this to the buyer, which of course they don't. But dealers use something Earl calls the old stock number trick. Every car in a dealer's inventory is assigned a stock number for accounting purposes. A typical stock number is something like A25771. The dealers will put their stock number for that particular advertised car in the fine print at the bottom of the ad or elsewhere. Even if a customer sees the stock number, they have no way of knowing what it means. When the prospective buyer responds to the advertisement, the salesman tells him that the advertised car was sold, but not to worry, he has several more just like it. Yes, he does have several more identical cars in terms of model, accessories, and MSRP, but because they have a different stock number, the law loophole now permits him to add his extra profit to the advertised price disguised as dealer fee and electronic filing fee. It's all just a game of hoodwinking the public and circumventing the law while doing it. It's an affront to the car buyers of Florida and any other state that their attorney general and the legislature allows this to continue. Car dealers have powerful lobbying groups like the State Auto Dealers Association and the National Automobile Dealers Association, NADA, and they clearly communicate to the AG's office and the legislature that they had better not mess with their dealer fees and electronic filing fees. Almost sounds ominous, doesn't it? It's definitely a threat. Yeah. Another reason you don't hear about this deception upon car buyers is that the media has assumed the Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil stance. The local TV, newspapers, and radios are deathly afraid of losing car dealers' advertising. Yeah. Car dealers are often the largest local advertisers. Some of you may be surprised to know that Earl and his wife Nancy were fired from their weekly consumer advice radio show on Seaview Radio, which they had done for almost seven years. This was because of dealer threats to cancel their advertising with the station with Earl there. When Earl reported this attack on free speech to the Palm Beach Post, the local paper, they refused to run the story or even allow him to purchase an advertisement that stated the truth. Fortunately, Earl got his revenge when Seaview Radio was purchased by JVC Radio and the new owners immediately brought him and his wife back. They also doubled their airtime to a two-hour show. Boom. What can you and I and all of us together do about this when we have such powerful institutions as the media, attorney general, and legislature siding with the car dealers against you, the consumers? The answer is make some noise. We the people support not only the media, but the politicians. Without our viewing, listening, and readership, the media can't sell advertising, and without our dollars and votes, politicians can't get elected. Call, write, or email your local newspaper, radio, and TV station, and local senator or representative. Tell them you're tired of them kowtowing to the car dealers and the automotive dealers association. Demand that the laws on the electronic filing fee and the dealer fee be enforced. Tell them, we're mad as hell and we won't put up with it anymore. 
When it comes to dealer fees, while this information already sounds terrible, the actual picture is far, far worse. Far worse. Lending Tree estimates that Florida dealers charged an average of $4,655 in fees on new cars and a $3599 on used cars. Since national averages show 74% of vehicles sold are used, while 26% are new, the amount of money car buyers are spending for total dealer fees in Florida each year breaks down like this. At a calculated 881,292 used vehicles sold at 35.99 fee averages, coming out to a whopping $3,171,769,908 in total fees paid. Wow. For 309,650 new cars sold at 46.55 in fees per vehicle, that total comes out to a staggering total sum of $1,441,420,750. These two numbers combined just in Florida alone are an incredible $4,613,190,658. In an upcoming show, we will share every state and the mind-blowing number for how much car buyers pay in dealer fees every year across the country. These numbers have a very negative impact on the consumer side of the U.S. economy. If you appreciated today's show and you're new here, don't forget to smack that subscribe button and ring the bell for notification of our shows. For those of you just entering the car market, you should be aware of all the free resources we have for you on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. From a free car buyer's guide, to free email templates to use for our car dealers, to a list of fake fees and even the FTC rules printout, it's all there free for you to download to use when you're car shopping. As Liz reminded you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. It's free and painless to you, but it sure helps us a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we do here for you. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team and our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. If you just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.